Hey guys, this is Matt Beck from freesaloneducation.com and this time, this video, I want to talk to you about the Dry Bar. Dry Bar is a company that there's a lot of them out there. They're popping up everywhere. Basically doing just blow dries in the salon. They don't do cuts. They don't do colors. They don't do anything else. Um, and a lot of hairstylists, and I'm not going to say every hairstylist at all, but in my opinion, what I've heard throughout business programs is they're upset about these places. The way that I look at it, I'm not upset about them at all. I think what they did, they capitalized on something that we weren't capitalizing on in the salon. People wanna be pampered, they want blow dries, and you can see it by these figures right here. This is Dry Bar alone, $20 million in sales, uh, 23 salons in six states, and 50,000 women a month getting their hair blown dry. This is something that as a salon owner, for me, right away I looked at it like I need to capitalize on what's happening I don't want another I don't want a dry bar to open in my town what I want to do is create a dry bar in my town I have a salon and I think a lot of people are looking at well um, I'm just gonna be upset about dry bars well don't be upset about it think about it we have blow dryers in the salon already so we have people that are capable of blow drying hair so if we have all those things already then what are we doing? What we need to do is get in our salon, create a menu. The only thing separating a hair salon from a dry bar is a menu, an experience. So what you need to do is create that experience in your salon. Let's look at this. Uh, this is some more statistics on it. Average dry bar net profit is 15% to 35%. 35% profit because blow dries don't cost that much. So if you're not doing a lot of blow dries in your salon, you need to make sure that we're taking advantage of that. The average salon's net, uh, net profit is 11%. So these are things that we need to really look at. So the cool thing about a dry bar, what you can really do is just run specials during slow times. You don't have to have a dry bar all the time. What I look at is maybe early in the morning you have it before you would normally open. People that are going to work, they just got done at the gym, run a special on blow dries, create the menu, create the experience, and, and you're good to go there. Um, and also in the in the middle of the afternoon when we're slow, just put, put, put it in those times, maybe two o'clock to four o'clock, run a happy hour special, create a cool menu and go with it from there. Our menu for the dry bar, um, basically what we did was we did a blow up bar at Salon Gratitude. So if you go to in New Hope and you type in blow up bar, we're the first thing that comes up because we're the only salon that's done it. And I think that that's one of those things where, you know, jump on board. There's probably not one in your town right now. You can create that experience. People are looking for it. And then just put together a menu and offer it separate in your salon. We do $30 for the blow dry. You, uh, you choose your shampoo, you choose your massage, and you choose your style. And they, they, really the difference between this and a regular blow dry is the menu and showing them different styles that they can do. You know, And if you wanna add different charges, you wanna charge a little bit more, a little bit less, it's up to you. But create a menu, create the buzz in your town about the fact that you actually have a dry bar or have a blow dry bar in your place. And, uh, and, and build your business around it. It's one of those things that can definitely fill in the slow times and just get a bigger buzz about your business in your town. So hopefully this will help you guys. Make sure you uh, just create the menu. I'd love to see them. Post them on our Facebook, freesaloneducation.com. Uh, you can find us on there. And then also make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube because we'll have many more tips to come, many more videos. And uh, yeah, so hopefully this helps. Any questions, leave them in the comments. Thanks, guys. We'll see you in the next video.